Retro. What's up, YouTube? I am here to bring you a lighting tutorial for Cinema 4D. Now, I'm not the best lighter, but uh, I do. <clears throat> sorry, I do uh, know how to make at least decent lighting. So, uh, if you have no clue how to light, then this tutorial is for you. And maybe even if you do know how to light, then you can learn some new stuff. <clears throat> sorry, got something in my throat. Uh, but if you guys, uh, have any questions about Cinema 4D, just leave them in the comments of any Cinema 4D video, uh, and, uh, what is it, and then I might do a tutorial about it. So, uh, let's just get started here. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is to make a floor. And then, uh, I, I'm just gonna use a primitive, but say you have an object or whatever. But I'm just going to use a sphere. And uh, I got the drop <clears throat> drop to floor plug in. So I'm just going to hit that baby. And here we go. Are you ready for this? Bam. Look how sexy that is. That That's the most perfect lighting I've ever seen. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'll actually get into the lights. Okay. One trick I like to use. Not really a trick. But is to... Uh, Let's get a light, and, uh, what was I going to do? Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is bring the intensity down, say, to, like, 20, and then, uh, <clears throat> you're supposed to <clears throat> offset the colors a bit, so I'll just do that. Usually I go with a blue tint, because that's just the way I do it, and you go up here to array, put the light under the array. So now you got this cool thing going on. That's not really anything yet. So uh, next thing you're going to want to do is go to shadows and uh, soft. So uh, this will give you shadows. You can't see anything now because the array is at the floor. So if you bring this up, and let's, let's turn. There we go. Now you got uh, lots of nice looking shadows, even lighting. And uh, then what I like to do, I like to bring it to one side and just uh, offset it in there and then maybe rotate it. So you got your shadows kind of all going in the same direction. So that's looking very nice, if I do say so myself. Um, and then... Uh, uh, what else you can do is usually uh, in a photography set, there's uh, three lights. Uh, that's that's the main thing is a three light studio. So if you go to array and then take down the copies to three, then you got that nice kind of three shadow thing. And then you can arrange the array wherever you want where it looks best. So uh, and then, and then you're also going to have to turn up your... Uh, light thingamajing. So let's get some materials going here. Uh, I'm gonna go with the... How about a red? Let's go with a red. Ooh, maybe a gold. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the gold and then uh, turn on reflection uh, and load for now. And turn the brightness down quite a bit and the fresnel down a bit. So uh, let's just apply that to this sphere and see how that does now this it's got some uh, uh what's it called it needs some bottom light so if uh you just take a little light not anything too much and turn this way way down maybe like that there we go and I'm not sure if you uh, want to add a shadow or not, but that looks a bit better. So this is just one way of lighting your scene. So uh, it doesn't look the best, but um, here's my favorite way to light a scene is to uh, let's let's get rid of this. And it's global illumination. It does take up a lot of render time, and you can get flickery shadows and also. Uh, um, what was it? But it it looks really nice. Uh, so 
if we uh uh first thing you want to do is go to options and turn off the default light and then go to light and get an area light and pull it out pull it up and then i like to position mines on like both sides and then oh uh this this one will be our main one and we want our main one to be blue uh offset blue and the intensity maybe down to uh 70 and then just just uh control drag and then uh you got another copy and this one i'm not sure if rotating affects anything but i just like it so i can like place my shadows and i'm going to put this one a bit above and i'm going to make it gold or a yellowish not okay so first off we don't have anything going on right now but the area lights wait did I turn on yeah I turn on global illumination but that's not exactly what it does but first that's uh, shift or control hold down click one hold control and click the other go to shadow and do soft uh, next thing you're going to want to do is make a sky object and the first thing I usually do is go to right click cinema 4d tags and compositing and then I turn off scene by camera and that just uh, because uh, you could be loading a HDRI image if I can find one uh, there's some in the content browser under Prime, if you have Prime. So, uh, uh, just just choose any one. It doesn't really matter. It's just the reflections that you get. So, and then double click on it and put it on the sky. So now, we're going to get something quite a bit nicer. Now this, you got realistic reflections. You can see on the floor that there's like ripple looking things so you get want to turn your uh settings up a bit where is it i i just usually turn it to full animation cuz i'm going to be animating and that usually makes it better i'm not sure i forgot what my settings are yep that that smoothed it out so now you have this really good looking uh one thing this is this is not our main light, so I get want this one to be seventy five and the other one to be say uh that so this one stands out, and that's just uh just a little lighting thing, so you got your shadow there and there, and also cinema four d comes in with uh, comes with built in studios light setup so you got your array light your three point stage and your sunlight and you can just go check out all these and do that uh you know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this in a cloner just so we can get reflections from the sphere itself uh so you can see really the depth of the reflections and i'm gonna where There we go. Okay, so you can see the other spheres in this, and it looks really nice. You got the trees that you can see, and uh, what else is there? There's... Uh, I know I'm forgetting something, but uh, ooh, what? I don't know. Let's just add some more materials. How about a uh, bit of a reflectional? Uh, thing. So now we'll get some reflection from the floor. And 
you, you can see that global illumination does take up a lot of render time. So 17 without that it only takes one second and see how bad this look you got some uh anti-aliasing problems and you have the sky and the reflection of the thing uh and also if you want to have your own hdr images just like put any image in the luminous cha luminance channel and make sure it's a really high resolution image so like 2000 by 2000 or whatever the specs are for that so uh also if you want to speed up the uh renders you just lower these and uh we were at 17 seconds Let's see what this is now now it's at three seconds and it looks almost exactly the same except for you have some problems in the background and uh, you also, if you're animating, you'll probably have some flickering of the shadows, which is really annoying. And the next thing you need to do just to make your scene finally look good is uh, get some anti-aliasing. And, uh, where is it? Just go to best, start with 2x2, two two and work your way up. And that seems to solve the problem, but... If it doesn't, just go to 4x4, four four. and if 4x4 four four doesn't, which it most likely will, go to 8x8. Eight eight. I've never had to go to 16x16. Uh, 16 16. So, uh, that is it. One more thing I want to show you, though, is how to get a uh, kind of, uh, like a, if you wanted um, more of like, uh, volumetric, I'm, I'm not sure what you could compare it to, but that's what it's called. It's called volumetric, and you just go down to visible light and volumetric and mess around with this size, and now you'll have, like, a sphere of light that's visible, and, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, probably want it to have shadows. And there now you got some this looks like uh if you have ever played uh Ma mario party uh the first one i believe on the nintendo 64 um they have a ghost spinning around a campfire and that's kind of how it uh, i don't know that, that's just don't listen to me <laughs> uh so that is it guys uh thanks for watching and see you next time